Hi guys, this is Kelly once again from Bun Machines and today I'll be reviewing the Jones um, sewing machine. Um, firstly, I want to thank all my customers and my subscribers and those that do purchase machines from me. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Okay, so today I'll be looking at this um, pretty amazing Jones sewing machine. Okay, I'll walk through the features and also um, do some couple of stitches as usual with um, the machine. Okay, for today's project, I'll be using the electric part. I don't want to use the treadle as I've been using on other videos. Okay, so um, it has a tread stand. It's actually a um, double tread stand. Um, it has um, inbuilt, um, I think, um, 11 design with the stretch stitch, making it 12. You can see that. Okay, I'll sew through this in a moment. Of course, this is the bobbin winder. All right, and also, Right here, you have the regulator for the straight stitch and the zigzag stitch, all right? Right here, you have um, that for the buttonhole, okay? And also, this one is the um, stitch ledge regulator. Here you have um, the numbers from 0 to 4, and 4 being the highest um, mark, and down is for the reverse, all right? Okay, right here, you have the tension, and um, it uses a very unique... Um, shuttle and bobbin system okay there you have it this um, shuttle okay and um, this is the uses the industrial type of bobbin I'll actually show you how to work with that in a moment all right so basically um, I here have the chambers for the bobbin and shuttle I'll show you how to do that but firstly I will have to do a video or work on it on how to wind the bobbin okay I'll just do that now then I go to the treading and the setting up of the machine process and of course it has the motor at the back and um, you can actually use it with a treadle all you just have to do is to remove this belt that connects the motor and you can use it manually with your treadle which is this table I'm using but like I said I'll be doing I'll be doing that with the electric part I will even be using the, the treadle today all right okay in winding your bobbin from the tread stand it just goes into this um, part here all right then you do something like um, a sort of, um, should I say, a zigzag kind of a mo motion. You just make sure this goes around this. This has a spring in here, so you just turn that in and bring that out. All right, so it goes that way. Then you just wound your tread a bit on the um, bobbin you want to use. Like I say, using the industrial class bobbin. Then you just fold that a bit and put that in and you just push it towards the wheel now when you okay, so see that guys so when you've gotten the enough Okay, when you've gotten the enough, you just pull that back in and take it out, all right? So that's how you um, wound your bobbin. Now, in treading the machine from the same tread stand, you put that, pass that through the first one here, and when you want to pass it through the first one, okay, treading the machine from the tread stand, you just, from here rather, Take it through here, then pass it through the second one, which is this here. All right, so what's wrong with this machine? Just a minute. All right, so. You pass it through the first one, then to the second one, then this tension, you make sure you raise the footer up, all right? If you raise the footer up, it makes it easy for the tread to pass through the tension discs um, or the tension plate inside. So you just pass that through the tension and you take it up, okay? It goes inside the tension, then of course it goes inside this place too, where you have the... Um, 
the tread thicker, okay? So from here to here, right around through the tension, then bring it down, then pass through this place, through this place, there's a last one here, then you tread from front to back. Now, um, of course, these are the shuttle it uses. Okay, so um, if you want to place um, the bobbin right in the shuttle, it's quite easy. Just drop that in the shuttle, then you use, um, okay, let me just use this one. Drop that in. Then there's a small opening here. You just pass that through here and it comes out here. Then if you look closely, there's a small um, hole here. You make sure the thread goes from inside out. Okay, so. Um, So there you have it. It goes from here, enters through this opening here. Then this small hole, it goes from inside out. Now, in putting it back in the shuttle, in the um, machine, just take this aside and you open this. Now, if you look closely, um, there's this um, adjustment here, this one here. Okay, you make sure it sits on it, all right? Make sure it sits on it. All right, and there's this pivot. I just pray you can see that. There's this pivot here, um, this this here. Okay, it has uh, a pointed tip, so make sure it's in between that um, the U shape of the shuttle, and put that in, and it snaps in. Okay, so that's how you place the shuttle in. Quite easy. You just replace this back to where it was, and you're good. All right. Let me try the needle now. All right, I already tried the needle. Now for the straight stitch, now I'm using number one here. This lever is on number one, and this is on zero. So I'm using the highest stitch length, which is the four, number four mark here. So when I sew through now, okay, so see it? That's the back of the fabric, and this is the front. Now you can actually reduce the stitch length and um, make that um, a little bit tinier depending on what you want to achieve. Now if I want to sew through number two now, I'll just pull this down a bit and take it down to number two, which is the regular zigzag. Then this one, I had to turn it from zero to five. And I want to reduce the stitch length a bit so that the stitches can be closer. So that way I can get a much more closer stitch. guys there you have it that's the um, regular zigzag now um, if I want to do the next one which is um, I think I just want to do number four let me just jump all the way to number four okay so I'll just have to reduce the stitch length a bit much so I can get a much more Okay, I can reduce the stitch length much more, so I can get much more. So, there you have it guys, that's the number four um, on the machine. So, now I want to sew through number six. So I just pull it down and stop it at six. There you got it. Okay, so I will just sew the final one, which is, um, let's say, number nine. All right, so.
Okay, guys, there you have it. Um, these are the different designs, you know. Okay, so um, you can see that here. I just did two, four, six, and nine. So, and if you want to return it back to the regular straight stitch, all you just have to do is to take this all the way down from here to number one. Then you pull this from zero to five. So, then you take this one up and down. You're back to the straight stitch. And if you want a back stitch, you know, like I say, pull that down. You're back stitching, and you raise it up. All right, so guys, that's the Jones sewing machine. Thank you guys so much for watching, and God bless you.